I'm here with the ready doubt Michaela Mayo. Michaela, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Just ready to go. I'm ready for fight night. So, part two. We've been in the UK last month. We got right up until the day of the press conference. Got called off. How's it going to be back here doing it all over again? It is what it is. What are you going to do? You know, you can't, you can't stress over things you can't control. We had no control over this. So, we just had to pull it together and go home, break a little bit, recover mentally, physically, and then we just got right back in camp. Right back in camp. So last time out, you and Alicia, you had a few words to say to each other. I just wanted to ask, where did this venom come from between you two? Because you're both competitive fighters, you're both great at what you do. I thought there would have been some respect along the lines between one another. She's apparently hated me for a long time. I'm figuring this out now. She's hated me for a long time because I've been the girl to beat for a long time. Not just in the pros, but in the amateurs. I didn't know who she was until a couple of years back. So she knew I was. And uh, when she got the belt, I called her out. And I, because I want to go and dispute it. And that's what I do. That's what champions do. So she took a little personally. Um, and now every time we see each other, she just seems angry at me. So uh, I think she's just mad that her career hasn't taken off until she beat Terry, and I've been driving, but now she has her chance, so we'll see. So now that this is a unification fight, would you say that Alicia is the biggest fight to your career to date, or do you feel you've had bigger fights than this coming up to this? This is definitely the biggest fight, because look where we are, right? And, and I've had a gradual increase of success when it comes to this like this was the next step for me of this, a fight of this magnitude this is definitely the biggest fight but on paper i don't think alicia is my biggest test on paper no like you, if you write down her accomplishments and what she's done she's not my biggest test but right now she is because she's standing in front of me she's, she's my next fight i have to get through her if i want to continue on and accomplish all the dreams and goals that i've set out for myself so um yeah and i haven't taken her lightly i've, I've prepared for a tough fight so of course, this is en route to Undisputed. Will you be picking up the Iberio after this fight or will it be something you're not looking to continue on with? Nope. Um, this is the four belt era. And the Iberio is not one of them. It's nothing against the Iberio and the organization, but it's not part of the four belt era. So I'm not paying sanctioning fees for a belt that doesn't help me go Undisputed. Carves it out of the contract. Completely fair. And lastly, onto something which I've actually been quite vocal about this on Twitter. Hun Lee Cho, the current WBA champion. She's held that belt for quite some time now. Will she be next? Hopefully. I hope so. We've been trying to get a fight with that girl. Her team is impossible to make a fight with. It's so frustrating. Um, you know, Bumgarner didn't want this fight. She wanted a couple other people to fight, and they, she couldn't get those fights, but she had to take me. But she tried with Choi as well. I'm hoping that once now that the belts will all be sort of unified and she's the last puzzle piece, that she'll step up. There'll be more incentive for her to step up and take the fight. But I'm not going to wait around for her forever. I will give her a short time to, and if not, I'm going up and taking on other champions. Of course, the super lightweight division, Chantal Cameron and um, Michaela, uh, That's me. Jessica McCaskill, <laughs> sorry, Jessica McCaskill are fighting for the super lightweight championship. Yeah. Could that be something in your eyes and target? Yeah, but first I want to go, I want 135. I want, I want to go up against Katie Taylor. And I feel like I'm deserving of that fight. I feel like I'm next in line. And I feel like she would want that fight as well because she's a champion who wants to challenge herself against the best and I feel like I'm the best. I'm the next in line. I'm the next challenge for her. You win this fight on Saturday night and without doubt taking Troy aside you are definitely the best in this division and it does put you in the mix of the undisputed versus undisputed fights. Um, lastly just moving away from the boxing I see on social media you're quite a big fan of the Spice Girls. Yep. Question if you were the Spice Girl what would be your name? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna need more time to figure this out. I don't know. Red spice, mayor spice. <laughs> no, nothing lame like that. It would have to be super cool. Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. We'll get back to you post fight. All the best, Michaela, for your fight. <laughs> thank you, thank thank you very you. much. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And why not check out any other videos on the channel? You can follow Women's Fight News on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.